So if you take a look at the command which I have executed, uh, you can able to see over here with pack hyphen dev hyphen server should be there. I haven't uh, used hyphen dev, and that is the reason like it is throwing some exceptions over here. Okay, once this is done, I'll just once modifying that, I'll click on enter and see what happens. It would install all the stuff. So let it get installed. In parallel, I'm going to explain what is Babel and why it is required. Babel is nothing but a module like React and uh, so is another node module like React, like Webpack. And what this does is it converts ES5 to ES6. And what is ES5 and ES6? Yeah. So say for example you have everything that is created in your uh, react application that would pack or everything is created you need some plugins or some information to tell that hey uh, i am uh, present over here and like uh, you need to download that thing to my browser and uh, it has to be seen in the screen so who will tell that Babel tells that uh, we also get an error like HTML back plugin was not found. Okay, so again, uh, same type of error over here. I have mentioned as plugin, it should be plugin. Click on enter. So, what Babel does is Babel tells, Hey, you are having a web pack and I need to load it somewhere else. So these set of information is being present and done by Babel. And uh, in upcoming tutorial, we are going to also explain like how to modify the Babel and how to set the environment and a lot of stuff. As of now, just think like Babel is one which loads your web pack into your browser. We will go, in, go into the details in later tutorial. So once this is installed, there are a couple of files that also needs to be created. So let, let us we create that file and uh, this installation can happen parallelly. So at first, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a folder I'm going to, going to create a file um, with a name called webpack config.js. What is that? Webpack config.js. If you want to know what is a complete webpack config.js and what is it used for and how to modify that, I have to take a separate tutorial for that because uh, that is huge. It's like an ocean. Uh, in this tutorial, we mostly concentrate on uh, the React app alone. So what I will be doing is, I will be running you, I will be writing the code for webpackconfig.js and I will be explaining you like what happens at the backend with the webpack.js which we are created right now. I am going to walk you through the code and I am just going to explain like what is happening. Uh, the reason is like webpack config.js a separate uh, module and if you want to deep dive I need to create a complete set of a new series of code which is going to take much, much time on it. So as of now we need a webpack config.js for react applications and if you are going to create it by the web, uh, through webpack so please keep that into mind and uh, I'm going to explain what the contents inside the webpack. At first, first and foremost, um, you can you have to re-import a component called port path. Sorry. So, what is this does? What this does is there is a package named path and load loader whenever my webpack config.js and what does this path say? If I want to take a specific file in a folder, I'll be going directly like this. I'll be clicking uh, in 
my computer in my computer i will be opening a specific folder but in real time a browser wants to take some contents and load it in your uh, load it in your uh, browser i mean yeah browser browser itself like if you if it wants to display a picture and in a real time you will be having that in a separate folder right all the images into one folder 